Well, Jessica, we are here for the Team Manitoba send-off to the Special Olympics national competition coming up in Vancouver. And very kindly agreeing to join us is the President and CEO for Special Olympics Manitoba, Simon Monday. How are you, sir? I'm very well, thank you. What a great day, and, and I tweeted a photo of this event and put hashtag what's good about sport. How do you feel on a day like today? Um, well, i got to say on any day I feel very good uh, about being uh, uh, the President and CEO of Special Olympics Manitoba. It truly is an honour. Um, our athletes uh, are provided an opportunity to compete in sport, which I've been very fortunate to be able to do my entire life and reap those benefits of what sport can provide. And uh, so for indiv individuals with an intellectual disability, is absolutely no different. Biggest team ever, I hear today. Just talk a little bit about that and the significance of the growth of Special Olympics in this province. Yes, we continue to grow. Uh, and uh, as we do that, uh, we have added, actually added three new sports this year. Uh, and uh, so golf and uh, basketball and bocce will be going to, uh, to the games in Vancouver. So hence uh, the biggest size of the team. But uh, a great opportunity for the athletes that have uh, been selected to go. And uh, I know they're going to represent Manitoba proudly. Now with size, of course, and growth comes uh, some logistical challenges. How is it uh, putting the team together from, a, from a, a mission staff and coaching volunteers perspective? Well, you're absolutely right. It is, a, it, it is logistical uh, in, in nature, but uh, you know we are very fortunate that we have outstanding coaches, we have outstanding volunteers, and people with great skill sets um, that uh, we can call on when uh, when we need to for uh, events uh, like this. Uh, our, our, I know that our athletes have been very, very well trained, and I know that the management staff will do an excellent job in Vancouver in in ensuring that Manitoba is well looked after. And just talk about the significance too, Simon, of the of the national competition as compared to provincial or even at the local level that type of thing well again it's uh, it's competition and I think that as athletes that's what we all strive for um, you know for some of our athletes the local the regional level is uh, is what they strive for and that's where they they sort of end but for those that are a little bit more competitive uh, provincials uh, and if if they are selected to go to go forward nationally and and obviously in this particular case uh, these games will lead up to the world uh, the world games in Los Angeles in July of 2015. Sorry, I have to digress for a moment. You can just hear the energy behind us. And, you know, anyone who's had any exposure to Special Olympics, it, it's so infectious, isn't it? You know what keeps me going? The athletes. And I believe that's what we're all here for. And, um, you know, I guess if we're not, well, then we're probably here for the wrong reason. But, uh, yeah, the energy in this organization and the, the motivation that's provided to me um, on a daily basis from our athletes is, is second to none. I wouldn't trade it for the world. And just quickly now, if you could touch on uh, the new awareness campaign that was launched here as well today. Yeah, this is uh, really the first year uh, that we've had uh, the Special Olympics Awareness Week. Uh, the bill uh, was proclaimed last fall, but this is the first opportunity we've had. Um, and of course, this is really sort of kicking it, kicking it off. Uh, we are, we have press conferences actually in Winkler and Brandon uh, later this week, and uh, our law enforcement torch run uh, is running uh, on on Wednesday. Uh, we have a schools program, and uh, social media is going to be a buzz. I know it is, and uh, so we've got a lot of things happening, and uh, it, it really is a great opportunity for Special Olympics to really tell. Uh, the people of Manitoba what we actually do because we are more than just the games. Well, I'm certainly glad you were able to tell us more today too. Thank you so much for your time. Thank you. Thank you very much.